Thank you for joining me for another episode of Drinking Alone with Christina. I'm Christina, and I'm drinking alone with you. And um, this is another after work edition, so I look worse than normal, let's say. And I'm, I'm really disgusting, so this is going to be like drink, shower, bed. Because it's, um, it's way late, it's about 2.30 in the morning now. And so I went to cookout on the way home because I was super hungry. And I got the watermelon shake because it was about to go out of, uh, you know, out of season, if you will. And um, it's a little weird, honestly. I'm, I'm eating it, but it's weird. I think I'll just go back to my usual peach cobbler after this. But I wanted to try it. So I'm going to try something new drink-wise tonight as well. And I really feel like this is going to be a good one because, I mean, I don't know what could possibly be bad about it. Oh, uh, before I forget, um, shout out to, who wanted me to shout out to them? Was that uh, Chapman? Um, Marshall? Uh, you weren't in the room. A couple other guys. Um, Lehman? Oh, Larry the Lineman. Hi, guys. See? I remembered you. So uh, it's going to be basically almost like an Arnold Palmer. Uh, we're going to start with uh, Firefly Sweet Tea. And this is just a regular one. It doesn't have any mint or anything in it. And man, this stuff is so good. I once drank basically an entire one of these bottles one night. Crazy times. And Bacardi Limon. And um, if you've never tried either of these, the Firefly Sweet Tea tastes very much like sweet tea, only with alcohol in it. And the Bacardi Limon, as you can see, is a white rum, and it's very lemony. It's very sharp. It's very um, fresh, citrusy, obviously. It's just really lemony. And um, they both have a kick. So this is going to be like a... If I had a martini glass handy, I would make it a martini, but I'm just going to eyeball this, and it's going to be basically one part of the Bacardi Limon to about three parts of the Firefly, because uh, I don't want it to be too lemony. I want it to taste like sweet tea more than half and half, which would really be the Arnold Palmer, so disregard everything I've just said, because I am super tired. Did I mention it was like really hot today? It was that kind of hot where where there's like no oxygen in the air. You know, like you take a breath in, but nothing happens. It, it was really hot. And I was working on a heater bar job and it was just, it was miserable. And you know, those are the times when I ask myself, why did I choose this career? Not because I don't like what I do, but man, it was rough today. So, again, about one part of that, and about three parts of this. Yeah, that's about right. And, uh, since this is straight alcohol, and like I say, I'm tired, this could be a... This is a real nightcap. So, <laughs> skull. Lots of alcohol in that. <laughs> you know me, normally I don't like make that, wow, I just drank something alcoholic face, but that really, it was like a burst of, of um, alcohol. Almost overpoweringly alcoholic. I think that's probably from the Bacardi though. Because like I said, I've just drunk the straight Firefly and really not felt like it was overtly um, astringent. But, uh, I mean, let's see. Let me, let me give you a flavor profile here. You do get some tea, and you get a very faint, faint hint of lemon when you smell it. But um, you're also getting fumes, basically. It's kind of like drinking gasoline.
Yeah, definitely very lemony. I don't want to add more Firefly because I really don't want to drink that much of it. Is that bad? I mean, it's not terrible. But I think maybe the proportion will be wrong. This would be probably the kind of thing where you rinse the glass uh, with the Bacardi and then just fill it with the uh, Firefly. That would probably be more appropriate. It's growing on me though. It is very, uh, it's like, it's kind of like Listerine. Not, it doesn't taste like Listerine, <laughs> but it's got that kind of, uh, uh, let's say bracing effect, you know, where you just like, oh my God, can I spit this out? Let's see what happens if I add a little watermelon milkshake. That. Oh no, I'm not going to add that to that. I wonder if I added that to this. No, I feel like I'd ruin one or the other or both if I did that. But that adding the watermelon kind of gave it an interesting edge, if you will. I wonder if I had some... Oh no, I was thinking I had the Pink Whitney watermelon vodka, but I have the Pink Whitney pink lemonade vodka. Man, if I had some watermelon vodka, that might make this really interesting. It's getting better. Imagine that. So, I wanted to be like really philosophical in this episode, so maybe I will be a little philosophical with you. Which is to say, you know, sometimes you have to just be. You know, you can't always be thinking about the future and, and trying for the next thing because then you're not paying attention to where you are. Like I'm the kind of person I always, I always have to have a plan. I always have to have a goal that I'm working on. Um, I always have to challenge myself. It's almost pathological. I really have no ability to just rest and it, it's, it's a problem sometimes, but so, I mean, my goal had been so long to get the job that I have now, um, and I've got it, and my next goal is kind of far off. It's several years off, so I have to sort of just content myself with working with, it, working the program, if you will. Like, this is what I'm doing now. So I have to go to work every day and think like, all right, I'm welding today. And, and I, I don't mean to say that in any kind of negative way. I really do love what I do. But it's hard for me to not be looking at the next thing. But like I say, you have to, you have to be where you are. You have to experience the thing that you are doing because otherwise you're just going to rush through your life and you're going to end up dying and looking back and going, well, I spent my whole life thinking about something else other than what I was doing. And what's the point of that? You have to you have to be be in the moment, you know. You have to have a little zen. So that's that's my philosophical talk for this evening. The more I drink, the better it gets. Ooh. That almost I mean the alcohol sting is still there, but not nearly as much. And maybe that's just because <laughs> I'm getting used to it, but I definitely uh, would next time use less of the Bacardi. It would be great as a mixer for other things, though. Um, I could see putting that just in a Coke would probably be really delicious. And if I am slurring or uh, not pronouncing my words properly, it's not because I've been drinking already. It's just because I'm super tired, as I have noted multiple times now. Would be nice with a little twist of lemon in it. You know, with the with the lower Bacardi 
ratio and a twist of lemon would be really good. And I'm seeing myself on the screen as I'm doing this, and my god, the bags under my eyes are horrendous. Oh, good lord. I look so old. I am old. But I don't really want to look old. <laughs> Too late. All right, this, this is enough that I'm just going to shoot this because, um, why not? That might be about an ounce. It's about a shot. When you do it like a shot, you really get a lot of the lemon. So yeah, I'm going to work on this on my own. I'm probably not going to do a follow-up video to it. I may make a comment, you know, in the comments about how I managed to change it, improve it. But, um, you know, not an entirely unsuccessful experiment, but not an entirely successful one either. So I'm going to head to the shower and then go to bed because I'm beat. And, uh, oh, I'm so sorry. See how... I, I, See how tired I am? I forgot to tell you, don't drink and drive and don't drink and text your ex because those are really important points that I really need to get across to you constantly because you know there are still people out there drinking and driving and still people out there drinking and texting their ex and neither of those things is a good idea. So until next time, at which point I hope to have a wildly successful recipe for you, I want you to take care of yourself. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Drinking alone again Never wanted to What am I to do? I can't help it Oh, he's still there. Sorry.